Josh Smith here again for Guitar World. The last few months we've been talking about chromaticisms within the blues as part of my overarching <laughs> three ideas that I use to connect chords together. Chromaticism, diminished, and 251 turnarounds. We're going to turn to diminished chords now uh, to talk about how we connect these chords together. And I'm going to start the same way I started the chromatics columns by playing rhythm for 12 bars using a diminished chord between each chord. Now if you don't know what I mean, that means I'm going to take the diminished chord a half step below whatever chord I'm heading to next and use it as a bridge, just like we did chromatically, to connect these chords together. Sometimes I will use an inversion of this chord, but it will technically be the diminished chord a half step below whatever chord we're heading to. So we're going to take that same shuffle in the key of A, 12 bar blues, and I'm going to play it rhythmically for you now using diminished chord. So again, I did nothing there but play a straight 12 bar blues using a diminished chord that starts a half step below whatever chord I was heading to next. So like heading from A to D, I played this G diminished chord, which is an inversion of D flat diminished to lead me to D. And then I played A flat diminished again to lead me back to A and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We've all heard this idea and this example so much in the history of music. When your ear starts to become accustomed to that, you start to automatically want to start bringing in those kind of tones and, and feels into your soloing, and it adds so much to your vocabulary. All right, so let's take that first move again in the blues from the one to the four chord. So let's say we're playing a, a blues that has a long one, so we play, you know, four bars of... heading from that A to D. Chromatically, you heard me, I would do that or something like that. But diminished, I would play this. So how would we play that in a lick? I'd play something like this. So here I'm just spelling out that G diminished chord which again is an inversion of D flat diminish, which is what we're thinking of as the target, D flat to lead us to D. I'd play something around this G diminish. Again, that's a great lick right there. You could be playing the blues. And here. played a diminished chord and led myself to the third of D by playing that D7. And uh, that kind of, just that lick there will start to open you up to, to hearing these things in between chords because you can do that anywhere. So now let's head back from the four to the one. We're here. So there, I played from four, D7, to this, A flat diminish, and I played an arpeggio that you've probably all heard before. But played it in a bluesy way. So here we're playing blues licks over the four. And I threw in a bonus chromatic note for you at the end. Again, but rhythmically, I'm just playing this. 